Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is August 16th. Right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see the frontal system that's going through the Pacific Northwest. It is now clipping northern portions of California. This is going to bring some precipitation on in through the day today and some thunderstorms tomorrow across some portions of northern California. And then we're going to take a look towards the extended forecast because it looks like we're going to warm up as we go through this week, but we're also going to bring some monsoon moisture and push that a bit further west, impacting portions of California it looks like as of right now we'll go over in some of those details here it's still a little ways off in the forecast but it is there and we will take a look at it so looking at what happened yesterday i'm going to pause this right here and kind of scroll through this manually you can see that monsoon moisture there across portions of arizona we had a few clusters of thunderstorms near las vegas there yesterday with some thunderstorm activity across the sierra nevada as well so we'll scroll through the day yesterday see that lightning going on across portions of Arizona just east of the California border there and then we come back out this morning still some clusters of thunderstorms moving across Nevada up towards portions of Utah here and we have been ringing out some drizzle across the Bay Area thought I'd mention that but you can also see what's going on across northern California there goes that frontal system bringing some light precipitation there and there could be some locally heavier amounts with this as we go through the day today and of course with any thunderstorm activity now, looking at lightning strikes over the last 24 hours, looks like what we just looked at there. You see across the Sierra Nevada, portions of Nevada, and the bulk of that being across portions of Arizona right near the California border there as well. But this may be a sign of things to come as we go through the upcoming week. More on that here in a moment. So here's Storm Prediction Center. Thunderstorm activity for today. You can see the Sierra Nevada and Northern California highlighted there. A little bit of monsoon moisture. Not quite as much as yesterday as far as thunderstorm activity across portions of Arizona. How However, this is day two, it kind of moves off across extreme northern portions of California and then it'll push off to the north and east. So also wanted to mention this isolated dry thunderstorm potential today, northeast California across portions of eastern Oregon in towards Idaho. And then they also have an excessive rainfall outlook for some similar areas. Some of those individual thunderstorms could be dropping some heavier amounts of precipitation. And of course, we got the light coastal rain. You can see the, Eure the Eureka tongue twister national weather service picking up on that and this was issued yesterday yesterday evening but yeah it is raining out there a bit so nice to see that and this is sacramento national weather service showing the potential of thunderstorms as we go through the afternoon and evening of the day today you can see the sierra nevada and look at that there's redding here there's hay fork red bluff and yeah so there's susan bill out there to the right as well now just uh, talking about that monsoon moisture, Phoenix is talking about that it's going to be a bit less limited storm coverage today versus what was going on yesterday. So taking a look, quick look at the fires here, you see we're not producing too much smoke. The Gifford fire not producing too much. You can see it flare up a little bit. And if you're in and around that, of course, you're going to smell it. But overall speaking, as we go through Sunday morning, we're not, not dealing with too much smoke here across the region. The Gifford fire is at about 73% containment. Yes, there it is. 102, 102. 32,000 acres largest fire here for the state of California so far in 2025 but the good news is we're not producing too much smoke here over the next couple of days and there's that excessive one, day one rainfall outlook I talked about so total precipitation in inches if I scroll through this you see this is a little bit of drizzle being wrung out towards the Bay Area down towards the central coast and some of that precipitation there for Northern California you see you are getting a bit of some higher amounts for some individual locations here as we go through tonight in towards Sunday we go through Sunday and you see the European wants to bring in additional round of thunderstorm activity there as well. Now, if I scroll far enough out in the forecast here, you'll take a look at the end of the week coming up here and you'll see the little blur of a precipitation starting to move west across some of the higher terrain. So remember that we're going to look at that more here starting right now. We're going to scroll towards the end of the week coming up here. This goes through Thursday and then look at that. See this lightning potential start to emerge across some of Southern California, Sierra Nevada, some of the desert areas, Arizona and Nevada, Las Vegas. We're starting to bring some of that monsoon moisture. How far west will this get? Good question. And we'll take a look at that over the next few days. Something very interesting to watch indeed. Now, if we take a look at precipitable water, this is the atmospheric river frontal system pushing across the Pacific Northwest, impacting northern portions of California. If I put that into motion, you notice how it's pretty dry out here. We're not dealing with a lot of that monsoon moisture at all across California today. Frontal system sags south across California and it's weakening as it does so. But now we scroll off in towards next week. We start to build the ridge of high pressure here across the southwest USA. And that in turn is going to start to usher some of that monsoon moisture back up along its western periphery of that high. So we put this into motion and we start to go through Tuesday. 
Now we're on into Wednesday, and you see this moisture start to return back in towards California and Nevada. We go through Thursday and then Friday, and you can see that moisture returns. This is monsoon moisture here, so something interesting to look. It's not really not that far off in the forecast, and I see the National Weather Service offices are talking about it as well. So, yeah, definitely something a little bit more interesting starting to show up in our extended forecast. Now if we take a look at the artificial intelligence on, uh, this is last night's run, the 06Z, I'll put that into motion, and we're going to scroll off in towards again off in through this upcoming week and you see the monsoon moisture across the sierra madre down there in mexico on the on an afternoon basis there this is thursday though you see some of that start to pop off across the peninsula range up towards the sierra nevada and start to get its way off in towards the muggy on rim and then eventually on in towards portions of nevada we go through friday and then look at that it starts to pop up a bit more there for southern california transverse range you can see it back up into the southern sierra nevada starting to pick up some of that coverage there as well and if we go a little bit further off into Saturday, again, another round of that monsoon moisture pushing its way to the west. We go through Sunday yet again, Monday yet again. Who knows how far this is going to push? Could it get off into some of the lower elevations? Who knows? You know, it's still a ways off of the forecast, but we will be watching that because that is a very interesting monsoon season signal here as we go through the second half of the month of August. Now, a daily two meter maximum temperatures you see that as we go through today tomorrow sunday kind of see things are suppressed a bit here across the state we go monday tuesday wednesday start to warm things back up thursday look at that widespread 100s returning to the san joaquin valley out of the sacramento valley there as well southern california starts to warm up desert areas really getting toasty here by the time we go towards the end of next week that valley probably pushing 120 degrees there by next friday and that is the result of this ridge it's going to be building across the southwest portion of the usa but also introducing some monsoon moisture so it's going to depend on just how much cloud coverage we have as well now if we take a closer look at southern california you can kind of see if you want to beat the heat of course you go out to the coastal regions anybody living out here you don't need me to tell you that but if you want to get into the heat you go east of the mountains but watch as we go through the mid portion of next week we start to warm things up across some of los angeles county there's orange county once you get into the interior regions they're away from the immediate coastline you're getting back up into the 90s and maybe up towards 100 degrees as well and then you can really see how things ramp up across the deserts so here's the six to ten day above normal six signal there August 25th to 20th 1st through 25th and much of the west coast is included in that but also the climate prediction center is picking up on this monsoon signal as well so that's good news there they got the above average category creeping into portions of california and nevada and the 8 to 14 days something similar above normal and above normal monsoon season signal here as we go through the month at the end of the portion of august um but yeah, I checked out the air forecast discussion here for Las Vegas, and they are talking about the monsoon moisture as well. So yeah, something fun to watch here over the next few days. Make sure you check back tomorrow. We'll go over it in more detail. We'll take a look at all the new model runs on that. And yeah, besides that, um, you might see the channel is named My Channel. That's something YouTube uh, did to reset things. If you didn't know, I was hacked. And um, the hacker didn't really do much damage. The YouTube resetting the channel names of both my channels here to my channel has actually done more confusion than anything the hackers did. And apparently there's a waiting period I have to go through before I can make any changes to make sure the hacker still doesn't have access and all this rigmarole. So yeah, anyway, um, so you are in the right place. This is California Weather Watch. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll do this all again tomorrow. We'll see how that monsoon season signal looks here as we go through tomorrow's forecast. And I will talk to you guys then.